Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another color grading tutorial. And today we're going to be working in Asus Color Space and we're going to be grading this car commercial. So, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is to bring the clip properties and turn into red log film. Okay, that's our first step. And by the way, uh, you can download this footage from reduser.net and I'm going to provide the link in my description so you guys can practice on the same file. So, it's going to be my first action. I'm going to go to the properties. And over here, at the master project setting, color science, we're going to switch to DaVinci Aces. Okay? And you have DaVinci 0.1, 1.02. So, we're going to use the latest one. And then I'm going to go to the color management. And in Aces input, I'm going to put red camera. Let's find it from the list. Okay, let's see. Where is our camera? Red lock film. And our output, let's say we're going to be grading in Rec 709. Okay, click Save and voila. Now we transformed color space into ACES. So, let's get started. In my first note, I'm going to call this NR, no noise reduction. I'm going to zoom in a little bit just to see how bad our noise is. Let's see. And actually surprisingly for how old this camera is, because I believe it's original um, Red Scarlet, I believe this was shot on. It's actually very clean comparing to some of the modern Red cameras. But I'm still going to use my Magic 2 and 10 numbers, which are, in my opinion, optimal for noise reduction. They don't take too much load on your computer. Okay, let's switch to the parade and see what is going on. Okay, as we can see, our image is a little bit dark. So, in my second note, I'm going to call this one Exposure. Okay, and I'm going to adjust Exposure slightly because I don't want to have anything crushing. Just like that. I think it's going to be a good beginning. Let's check it out before and after. Okay, I sort of made it more into log a little bit, but we're going to fix it down the line. I'm going to create a new node and I'm going to call this car. Okay, and what I'm going to do in this node, I'm actually going to track the car. So if I'm going to zoom in, actually, if I'm going to go in the first frame just like this. I'm going to go on the tracker panel and I'm going to keep all pan, tilt, zoom, rotate and 3D perspective. And I'm going to click fast forward. Okay, our tracker looks absolutely beautiful. But as you can tell, this is a circle. It doesn't really look like a car. So, here's an interesting thing. If you're going to go over here in the window, you can convert your circle to Bezier. Okay, just like this. And now we can actually manually adjust all the points and our tracking data is still going to be preserved. Just like that. Okay, for the sake of tutorial, I'm going to do it very quickly. I'm not going to be spending too much time on it. Okay, like that is fine. Let's make it softer. And I'm going to give it more light, assuming it is a legit car commercial. Okay, just like that. Let me introduce some feathering. Okay, let's take a look. Let's see, before and after. Very nice. And now I'm going to start introducing a little bit of look. So, I'm going to do a look with the curves individually. Let's see. I'm going to pull down a little bit on red. Okay, just like this. I'm going to go in the green. I'm going to pull down a little on the green. In blue, I'm going to add a little bit more yellow. Just like that. So, let's check it out. Before and after. As you can see, slight change. 
and I'm going to add a master master curve master curve basically going to be our general curve instead of the LUT and I'm going to crash black just a little bit just like that okay this is going to be our master curve and I'm gonna leave this over here so next I'm going to use a parallel mixer and I'm gonna call this one headlights and I'm gonna use the same technique of tracking headlights like before okay just like this actually I probably should go in a frame number one like that okay perfect let's track this thing forward beautiful very good tracker and now I'm actually only going to select the headlights using the luminance okay just like that perfect let's feather it a little bit okay and now I can change how the headlights look for example see uh, it changes the color so let's say I want to give them a little bit more orange and a little bit brighter just like that so let's check it out before and after slight difference okay just like this beautiful now let's say you're making a movie and you want to blur out the license plate or documentary let's call this license plate okay and what we're gonna do I'm going to select this license plate just like that BAM perfect and I'm gonna track it backwards Uh, almost perfect we can always fix it manually luckily there's only four points so it shouldn't be a problem the smaller the size you're tracking the harder for the tracker it is to track the object so keep that in mind okay like that looks great it looks great looks great perfect we didn't really did anything okay so now I'm just going to simply blur out the license plate just like that and so it doesn't look too ugly I'm going to feather it just a little bit let's take a look at the whole thing okay looks perfect and now I want to emphasize a little bit the light on those mountains so I'm gonna do another one and I'm gonna call this mountains and what I'm going to do is use luminance just like this perfect we're gonna make it softer beautiful and I'm just gonna give it a little bit more more pop and I'm gonna introduce a little bit more saturation so check it out before and after before and after very cool and finally let me combine this thing okay let me hide all the stuff that we've done and finally I'm going to do oh, not here I'm gonna create a new note and I'm gonna do a layer note and I'm gonna play individually per channel to give it a nice final touch okay this one's like that okay like that looks great and finally I'm gonna use soft light to blend them together 
Okay. And over here I'm going to use the key to dial it down a little bit. Let's check it out. Okay. Before and after. Not a huge difference, but definitely different interesting look. So let's check it out before and after. Very nice. Okay. Awesome, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. Next week, we're going to be doing a master color grading series. So it's going to be completely kick-ass. You guys are going to love it. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you soon.